in the last video we discussed about theory part of logical operators in this video we see the practical demonstration of logical operators and how do they work so this is the theory part that we discussed in the last video and we come to the programming part so this is the program so i have taken a variable and i have given a expression containing logical operators here is the expression 10 greater than 20 logical and 10 less than 20 now what is the property of logical operators now see here there are two expressions so i have used two relational operators 10 greater than 20 and 10 less than 20 and now this logical operator is combining those two relational expressions so in this fashion it is used to combine conditions or it is used to combine relational operations or it is used to combine expressions also okay in the second case i have used logical or and in the third case i have used logical not so we run this program so we got output in the first case a is equal to 0 and in the second case a is equal to 1 and in the third case a is equal to 0 so now we see how we got these values so in the first case a is equal to 10 greater than 20 so in this expression we have relational operators as well as logical operator so out of these two relational operators are given first priority and then logical operators are given second priority and finally third priority goes to assignment operator so that means so here 10 greater than 20 and 10 less than 20 here there are two relational operators then the associativity of relational operators is from left to right so first of all this one is executed so 10 greater than 20 so what would be the value here so 10 is not greater than 20 so we get value 0 that means false value then what about 10 less than 20 yes it is correct so it returns true value that is 1 now what would be the value here so we get 0 logical and 1 so logical and what is the property of logical and operator it gives 1 if both the operands are true otherwise it gives 0 here one of the operand is 0 so that's why it returns zero value so this is the value that we got here zero and coming to the second one so we have used logical or operator again first case 10 greater than 20 so it is false so we get zero value second one 10 less than 20 yes it is true so we get one value so here so zero or one so what is the property of logical or operator it gives one if one of the operand is 1 so here one of the operand is 1 so we get value output value 1 so that's why we got output 1 here and coming to the logical not so logical not not operator here not of 10 so in c language false value is treated as 0 and any non zero value is treated as 1 here 10 means it is treated as non zero value that means it is treated as true value so not of true it returns false value so that's why we got a zero value okay now let us say i will modify this one so instead of uh, not of 10 i will give zero so to clarify this example again i run this program so not of zero as zero is the false value so its uh, reverse value is true that is one value so we got a one value so so in c language false value is treated as zero and true value means any non zero value but if the system has to return a true value it returns one again we see another example let us take not of minus 10 now guess what would be the value at this stage here what would be the value returned by logical not, not operator so we run this program now see here we got a zero value that means minus 
minus 10 is treated as non-zero value. So any non-zero value in C language is treated as true value. So minus 10 becomes true value here. So that's why uh, when logical not is applied on minus 10, it is returning false value that is zero value. So in this fashion, logical operators will work. So in this example, we have seen how logical operators will function, how logical end works, logical R and also logical not and also the difference between uh, zero value that is false value and non-zero value that is true value.